Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about an enhanced resolution of experimental ARDS through IL-4 mediated lung macrophage reprogramming. Written by Delasio, I'm Craig et al., published in the American Journal of Physiology this February 19, 2016. To give some very general background on the specific system that this paper looked at, I first want to look at the respiratory system and specifically its primary organ or organs, the lungs. Humans have two, a left and right, which reside in the thoracic cavity. They're a very spongy organ and the trachea is actually what um, is up in for upper portion and when inhaled allows the air to enter into the bronchi. The bronchi divide into even smaller sections referred to as the bronchioles, and at the end of the bronchioles are little sacs referred to as al alveoli, which is the location where oxygen can enter into the bloodstream and carbon dioxide can be released. And this process is known as gas exchange. Now the paper looked into a particular syndrome referred to as ARDS that remains a very serious clinical threat. ARDS is acute respiratory disastrous distress syndrome, and it's the accumulation of fluid in the al alveoli. It limits the ability for oxygen to flow into your bloodstream and thus deprives your oxygen and reduces their ability to perform their functions. Currently, the mortality rate is at 41%, and there are no known cures or pharma ph pharmotherapy that are effective in this syndrome. ARDS is caused by severe inflammation in the lungs, and this can be instigated by several different factors. Um, it's not necessarily considered a specific disease, but a syndrome that is caused by other factors, such as pneumonia, sepsis, trauma, blood transfusion, drug abuse, etc. Currently, some past research that led directly into my paper was research on T cells, monocytes, and macrophages, which are all cells that are in the immune system. The immune system within an organism that protects against diseases. It is divided into the innate or nonspecific and adaptive is specific responses. Specifically, ARDS manipulates the innate immune system and acute inflammation that can occur. Inflammation is the body's response to harmful pathogens or damaged cells that could have been caused by the previously stated factors. The inflammation causes fluids to become trapped in the alveoli and does not allow for proper gas exchange to occur. The lack of oxygen can cause severe effects on the body's organ, organs, organs and muscles, and in extreme cases can cause death within a few days after the onset of the syndrome. My paper looked at different immune cells to see how the manipulation and effect of some of these cells could aid in the stopping of ARDS. The first immune cell I want to look at are cytokines, and these act through receptors and modulate the balance between the different immune responses and regulate the responsiveness of particular cell populations. Specifically, IL-4 is a cytokine that induces the differentiation of naive T cells into Th2 cells, and it promotes the activation of macrophages that can aid in the stopping of overinflammation. STAT6 is a signal transductor and activator of transcription proteins, and is activated by both IL-4 and IL-13 cytokines. STAT6 promotes antibody immunity and can activate macrophages, which my researchers looked into. Macrophages are large phagocytic immune cells, which depending upon which cytokines are present can be activated in two separate groups. Group M1 secretes pro-inflammatory cytokines and increases inflammatory response during infection, and group M2 initiates repair and restoration of, tissue, of tissues. If group M1 persists, the lung tissue will never repair and will, be, will continue to be inflamed. M2 is, re, M2's response is instigated by LL, IL-4 cytokines and are believed to reduce cellular inflammation, cytokine reduction, and fibroproliferation. But as of right now, there is no known way of activating M2 at its early stages. And if activated in the early stages of ARDS, it may be able to prevent or at least prolong, prolong the entire infection process. So neutrophils are the last type of immune cells I want to look at, and they are a type of phagocyte that are normally found in the bloodstream. During the beginning phase of inflammation, neutrophils are the, are, the, are the first responders of inflammatory cells that begin to migrate towards the site of inflammation. The paper used the presence of neutrophils as an indicator that lung tissue was not repairing itself. With all this background information on how the immune system could possibly be manipulated, my researchers hypothesized that an exogenous administrated IL-4 would elicit a response with the aid of STAT6 to activate M2 macrophages and be able to actually repair the damage in the lung that occurred from the other factors, hopefully curtailing the overall effects of ARDS. 
To do this experiment, the researchers took mice that were 8 to 10 weeks old and exposed them with intratracheal injections of bacteria that would then elicit an immune response. They then exposed them to an IL-4 treatment. The mice were divided into three different treatment groups, days 4, 5, or 6, based off the period of exposure time and the day they were euthanized at. PBS liposome injections acted as a control throughout the experiment. The bronchial alveolar lavage, or BAL, was analyzed by, cent by centrifuging, and the total protein count was measured via the Lowry method and quantified through ELISA. On day 4 and 6, lung tissues were homogenized, RNA and proteins were extracted, and then quantified via re real-time PCR. Western blotting was used to purify the protein concentrations, and flow cytometry was used to isolate the leukocytes, macrophages, and monocytes. One way ANOVA, students' t-tests, and the two-piece test were all used to significantly measure the result. Figure 1 shows that IL-4 can improve mortality and, inc and increase lung repair. Figure 1a is comparing the survival rate of the IL-4 treated mice with the PBS control group. The x-axis represents the amount of days after the intratracheal exposure of LPS, and the y-axis represents the percentage of survival. It was observed that the IL-4 treatment group had a 92% survival in comparison to the PBS group, which had a 57% survival rate. Figure 6 shows the potential effects of IL-4 therapy on the production of inflammatory mediators in the lung. The y-axis represents the amount of expression of these specific chemokines, TNF, NKC, in the BAL, and the x-axis represents the number of days the cells were treated. IL-4 treatment reduced alveolar levels of pro-inflammatory chemokine TNF-alpha at day 5, but did not significantly alter chemokine KC levels, showing that in some locations the pro-inflammatory response is reduced in the presence of IL-4. Figure 4 shows that lung macrophages express MT proteins. The researchers looked at three different MT markers, Argonize 1, Phys 1, and YM1. The x-axis represents the number of days that the cells were tested at, and the y-axis represents the full change of the volume of M2 markers that were present. Overall, figure A shows that mice treated with IL-4 after the IT-LPS had significantly increased levels of M2 markers. Not only that, but figure 4C shows that IL-4 therapy reduced the mRNA levels of inducible nitric oxide synthase, or NOS2, which is considered a M1 marker at the day 4. Macrophages, overall, macrophages express M2 markers in response to IL-4, and IL-4 can reduce the levels of M1 proteins, as seen in Figure 4. Figure 6 shows that STAT-6 is required for M2 production. The researchers wanted to test if STAT-6 is necessary for the M2 markers. To do this, they compared IL-4 wild-type mice with mice that have had their S6 silence, as seen on the x-axis, and looked at their ability to produce the BAL proteins in figure B and BAL neutrophils in figure C as measured on their y-axis. Compared to IL-4-treated wild-type mice, STAT-6 silence mice demonstrated an impaired resolution with um, persistently elevated BAL proteins and neutrophils, showing that the lung repair process has not begun. Figure E looked to see if the STAT-6 si stat silence mice were able to express M2 markers in comparison to the wild type. Regardless of the presence of IL-4 or not, the M2 markers were significantly reduced in the STAT-6 silence mice, showing that the transcription activator is necessary for the lung repair process. Figure 8 shows that IL-4 can increase repair in vivo. The researchers wanted to test if it would be beneficial on a live bacterial model. What they found supported their in vitro results. With the IL-4 treatment, the M1 and inflammation overall can be reduced. BLA proteins and neutrophils are, are reduced as seen in A, figures A, B, and C of figure 8. And it almost doubled the amount of M2 surface markers in the alveolar, seen in figures D and E. Overall, showing that the IL-4 treatment was a, was a success and should be clinically tested as a way to reduce ARDS. The overall conclusions that can be drawn from this paper are that the IL-4 treatment can help with lung injury and even restore lung function when, when administered exogenously, and the presence of lung macrophages with STAT-6 transcription factor are necessary for IL-4 to fulfill its repair functions. And IL-4 appears to enhance macrophages functions and survival in vitro and in vivo. 
The discussion questions are, what other effects of overinflammation can occur in the body? And two, what are other some issues that could arise from improper gas exchange? And these are my references.